this is editing Hayley. Now in the following video you are going to see various clips and a lot of them are going to be from different days. So yes my outfit has changed quite a lot in these but I thought I would pre-warn you and I hope you enjoy. Okay so a really random clip but I decided to make some pancake batter. So in there is 100 grams of plain flour, two eggs and 300 mils of milk with a little bit of vegetable oil. It does say to use sunflower oil, but you can use vegetable oil and a tiny bit of salt as well. So I'm letting that rest for approximately 30 minutes and then we're gonna make some pancakes later on. I've got my lunch in the oven. So I've got some chicken goujons and smiley faces in there. And I'm gonna quickly show you my progress on the jigsaw. Little pancake treat with sugar and lemon. So this is the current jigsaw progress. As you can see, I've managed to do all of the sky, which was the most annoying bit in the world. Um, I'm probably now going to try and work on like the watery bit down here, and then I'll get the actual main inner part done when I get all the pieces out, because I have proportioned it into pieces. So I'm going to try and work on this corner. From your angle, it's actually upside down. So if I turn this way, you actually get the proper jigsaw. But this is a thousand pieces, so it's a bigger one than all the other ones I've been doing. So it's going to take me a little bit longer. Oh, and then this morning I did a bit of a roomy tour for each room of the flat. So I've put a couple of things in here that are actually going to go. But I've actually done a bit of a tidy up. I've got some washing to move. And I have a massive basket of washing I need to put on. So I will do that actually in a moment. Um, but whilst my lunch is cooking, I just thought I'd do a quick vlog. And just update everybody that I'm doing pretty well. Um, I know the lighting's changing quite a bit. But I'm going to get this massive load of laundry on. And... Yeah, I'll see you all in a bit. It's a little bit of laundry. Right. I normally would um, section this into certain things, but actually the majority of this is pretty much the same. So I'm going to throw it all in the washing machine like I would for my usual routine. And then we will go ahead and hang it all because I do not have a tumble dryer. So it takes a lot longer to sort it all out. But I'm going to try and get a bigger load in as big of a load as I possibly can and then yeah fingers crossed we'll uh, have some laundry done oh there's one of my work scarves that's been hidden in the laundry basket by the by the looks of it because I haven't been to work for a little while okay so as you may have seen that's quite a lot of washing um, I use Lenore Unstoppables in every wash even if it's bit of bedding or a bit of towels so I do roughly this is quite a big wash so it's gonna have a few more than normal but I normally do about half a cap worth of these and I do tuck them right at the bottom because if you put them too far too, too far um, at the back they actually drop to the front too quickly so I'm also gonna put a dirt catcher in just because there's a lot of different colors in there so that's that and then we are using Asda Colour Liquid, as always. So I'm going to put a cap full of that in to my actual washing machine. Like so. Oh, you've got an arm shot, sorry. That's that. And then I currently have used up my last um, fabric conditioner that was Lenore. But because I have a cheap one at the back of my cupboard, I do want to use this one up. So I'm going to use this one. So I will give everything a sniff test at the end of all this. Um, I would normally clean my drawer out before putting a new one in. Oh, that's not much. I might have to put a bit, a cap and a bit of that one. Because with the other one, it's a lot thicker, whereas this is runnier. So, okay. And then the last thing I need to put in is my... Washing machines live longer with cow gone. Need to put a bit of this in. Don't need that much, but I always add a little bit. And then it's our number 12, which is cottons, which takes about two hours, best guess. Um, but it does do a really good cleaning job. I always leave it on a 30 unless I'm doing towels. Towels, I normally do a 60 or a 70. So this is actually ready to go. I'm just gonna put things away. There we go. Off we go. Lunch time. Okay, so I'm running a quick bath, but I thought I'd show you what this watermelony bath bomb is going to do. It 
turns out it just fizzes a load of pink and green. Oh, it does smell really watermelony though. Wow, that actually smells pretty good. Hello and welcome to what I bought from the supermarket. I'm going to run you through the items I've purchased in Sainsbury's and in Aldi. I'm going to try and do it logically. So I'm going to try and show you all the Aldi items first and then we'll try and show you all the Sainsbury's items. So we'll crack on and do that. So first thing from Aldi was some cocoa powder. I've been doing a bit of baking whilst we're on lockdown so I thought that would be quite handy. I'm just going to adjust the camera so that your lighting's a bit better. Bear with me a sec. Hello there and welcome to what I bought from the supermarket. I'm going to show you some of the items I've purchased from Aldi and from Sainsbury's and then I'll basically total it all up at the end. So the first thing from Aldi was cocoa powder. I'm using this a lot for baking at the moment so I just thought I'd get some of that. Also bought a four pack of kitchen roll which were $1.99 so those are actually going to be out up there ready for when I need them. Um, also picked up some broccoli, good for going in my pasta that I do quite a bit. Also bought some chicken and bacon tortellini, just because why not. Um, a red pepper, good for going in pasta once again. A pack of Snack Right family mixtures, there's 18 bags in there so that'll keep me going for a little while. That's from Sainsbury's, that's from Sainsbury's. Um, in the shopping trolley, the famous shopping trolley, I got some garlic kievs because they're really good for lunch times. Also picked up a tomato and mozzarella pasta bake, which is just there. Got some more spinach and ricotta tortellini because it's really nice and it's just good with pasta sauce. Um, picked up a macaroni cheese as a little treat. Some grated mm, cheese. I nearly said mozzarella then, not mozzarella, just grated cheese. Um, chicken arrabbiata, which I really like as well. It's always very tasty, that one. And that might be it from Aldi, by the looks of it. So I'm going to move on to Sainsbury's. So from Sainsbury's, I picked up an onion and garlic pasta sauce. I picked up a 12 pack, no, a 9 pack of toilet roll, because you can never run out of toilet roll then. And it's just good if people can't find any. I'm very happy to like give that to anybody that needs it. Um, a pack of ready salted crisps, just because I was like, well, it's going to be a bit of a crisp fest here at the moment. Um, also got some tissues to go in my front room. Twin pack for £2, I think they were. Got some olive spread, just good for sandwiches, basically. Something I haven't had for ages. Bananas. I thought I'd get some bananas so I can have a bit of a munch on some bananas. Also got some British finely sliced ham. Had to get be good to yourself because I didn't really have much. And I've also got some chicken breast mini fillets. So those will probably go in my freezer. I'm not entirely sure yet. I might use those for tea tonight. Um, pack of 12 eggs which are going to go in my fridge. I don't normally keep eggs in the fridge but I will on this occasion. And then I got some jacket potatoes which will go in my freezer some potato smileys because they're good for with like the chicken kiefs and things. So I spent £19.95 in Sainsbury's and then in Aldi I spent £16. So I spent just short of about, I'm going to call it £36 on everything. Yes, £36 on everything which isn't bad for me and I am going to use a lot of it up. So there we go, that's my shopping video.